Hi guys, welcome to the video. This is my solo run of this week's featured Grandmaster, which is the Scarlet Keep. I'm doing it on the Warlock. You can see all aspects, fragments, mods, armor pieces, and weapons. If you want to really go through them, you can pause it and have a look at exactly what I used. It's exactly the same loadout to a degree that I used for my Master run, except for the Wolf Tone Draw. The reason why I switched to this is because it's got shoot to loot. And the way we're going to do the boss, we, we're going to have to be have the ability to be able to get ammo that's going to be lying about. Uh, Lucent finisher for getting heavy from champions. Uh, I'm using uh, Bountiful Whales, obviously. I'm coupling that with double uh, 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 elemental ordnance, so more whales when I get grenade kills. I've got Seeking Whales, which means when I get about 10, 10 meters away from the whales, they'll start to come towards me. Uh... I'm using, uh, as I say, the same loadout I use for the Master. Uh, some people will will notice that I'm using the Time Loss Fate Bringer. It doesn't matter what hand cannon you use. I'm using that because I, I like to use it. You can use the Volpecula. You can use Seventh Seraph Officer Revolver. I get next to no kills, if any kills at all with it. It's only to stop Unstoppable. So you could actually put a Pulse Rifle on there. It doesn't really matter. So... Now that the, the run is starting, I'm going to take... All you're going to be doing to start with is just clearing the ads in front of you. I don't consider the strike really to start until we get to the, the first big open area. So I'm going to take this opportunity to talk a little bit about the acute burn situation. We now know we've got acute burns in Grandmasters, and there's been a bit of backlash about it. And I have a different take on it. I don't think it's such a bad thing. This is the first time I've soloed this as a Grandmaster. This run was the first time I'd, I'd done it maybe a couple of times, working out how to get certain parts of it done repeatedly. Uh, this is the first time I got to the lift. So I beat it the very first time I got to the lift. I never had a problem with the acute burn. Yes, it makes it a little bit uh, longer, but I think that even without the acute burn, this would have been, you know, 55 minutes or whatever, 15 minutes. Uh, it's as long as it is because I had a bit of a problem at the boss, but you'll have to wait till you, until we get there to see what happened. Uh, we have more ways to negate incoming damage than we've ever had in Destiny. And part of that is due to the, the Master Grasp of Avarice Dungeon. Because that the chest armor can drop with three mods, mod slots for regular mods. So that thermal, thermal uh, shock plating... On the Master Armor, you can put three of them on. That's a 60% reduction in income in Ark and Solar. So I don't really have a problem with the Acute Burn being part of being, being in the Grand Master. Probably will come out a little bit more in, in other Grand Masters. I think, you know, out of the six Grand Masters this week, this is probably midway difficulty. I, it's not definitely not the most difficult. Uh, I thought it would be more difficult than it, than it actually turned out to be. I got it pretty quickly, really, uh, considering. So, I don't have a problem with it. As I say, as I've already said, it it will probably come into play in other Grandmasters more than this one. But uh, Grandmasters are supposed to be the most difficult content. So, you know, we've been soloing these for quite some time. So, because of, I I I, I if I'm being honest, before this season, I haven't done. A great deal of solo grandmasters because I, I just didn't enjoy the whole solo and grandmaster. I didn't know who I was making those guides for, if I'm being honest. But this season, I've kind of set myself a goal to get them done, uh, just to prove that I can do them really to myself. And you know, it's good content, I suppose. Uh, so I don't really have a problem with the acute buns. I, I just think it adds to the 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 whole feel of a grandmaster being the most difficult content and with the right setup you can negate I mean even the setup I've got I'm getting a 40% damage uh, reduction in arc so literally that acute burn I'm getting 10% more arc damage so you can actually negate the whole 50% uh, with the right armor on so as you can see this is this for me this is where the strike starts so as soon as I come in you've got an ad spawn left and right with a champion I take out the left hand champion as fast as possible and then I take out the right champion with the acolytes that spawn in with them as fast as possible. 
The whole point of this is, I'm sure most people are aware, um, I know you guys probably know this, the idea of this is to make your way up the right and left hand side to the towers, kill the wizard, get the, the void charge and deposit it in, in the corresponding uh, position back down here. On Master and Grandmaster, in this area, whilst doing those things, you will you will be met with four barrier champions. Two immediately, these these uh, I'm just about to kill the second one here. Uh, I'm gonna finish them. Uh, so you'll have these two, and then each time you pick up a void charge, you will spawn in another champion. So there's four barrier champions, two elite wizards. And a whole host of other ads. As soon as you make it onto one of the walkways, you see that I've moved away because the, the corresponding ads on the right hand side have spawned in. On the right side, you'll get a bunch of thrall and you'll also get this Arc Knight. And then on the left hand side, you'll get a bunch of thrall and some sniper acolytes. So, a couple of tips for this area. The wizards obviously do big damage, right? You can take the wizards from down here, where, we're, where we are now, this area. You do not have to run up to take the wizards. So I am going to take the wizards from down here. I like to take, the, the, this, is, this is the right side obviously, I like to take the left hand side wizard and orb first. Because the, when you take the second orb, whichever way you do it, when you take the second orb, uh, you'll get a whole bunch of taken thrall. The majority of the time, you'll get uh, sorry, cursed thrall. The majority of the time, uh, you can see them when the champion spawns out. You'll see this time I couldn't actually see them, but normally if I take this left hand side first, I can start shooting the taken thrall because uh, from the right side because I'm in a raised position, so I can see the whole area clearer. So that's, that's the wizard on the left hand side taken out. So we're going to make our way down. We're going to get four acolytes that are going to spawn in. I'll just throw a grenade, try and clear up as many of them as I can with the grenade. Uh, and then push down. We only got two. There's four that spawn in. Uh, so when the grenade hits enemies, another, another thing to be aware of. When the grenade, because I've got the weakening effect, it does a few things. It's very much like suppression. It slows the enemy, it makes the enemy weaker to your attack, but it also makes them less accurate. So, some cool things when you're throwing grenades, if you throw a grenade on a champion or a boss, they will then become less accurate. And you'll notice when we get to the boss, I'll be taking, there'll be some serious heat coming up, I'll throw a grenade, and that, all those shots will stop. Because the ads can't shoot. Now, I would suggest you guys do this part differently. I kind of get it backwards here. So what I should have done is throw the grenade. That gr The grenade I just thrown, I should have threw that on the champion, which would have stopped the champion from running away and stopped him from shooting me. And then on the other side, I should have thrown the grenade on the, on the, on, on the ads and not the champion. So this side, which is left, when you get up here, the, the, the champion, you see the champion now being real slow, it's because I've put that grenade on him. You'll see he gets like uh, a whole bunch of void stuff on him. That means he's kind of suppressed, right? So make sure, if, throw, throw the, the grenade down below the, the tower onto the champion. And that just stops him from moving. And he won't shoot you. Uh, it will catch some ads as well. And then you can just take the other ads freely. But on the other side... You want to throw at the ads that are below you, because the champion won't bother with you to start with. So you can, the ads will be throwing the solar bombs up. So that's that's the first side taken care of. Now as you can see, you can just about see the right hand side of the wizard. So I'm going to move over onto one of the other platforms and take out the wizard from down here. And then it's just the four acolytes when we go up. Easy work. Now, because of the angle that I had on the wizard, I never managed to get a ton of shots on her, but the game, for once, is nice to me, and she comes back out for me to finish her off. There's, so, you can t as you've seen, you can take both wizards from down here. Easy money. 
Now we're going to go up, we're going to, the same thing, we'll have four acolytes up here, and then we'll jump up on top of this tower that we're just running un underneath now, and we'll take out the champion, and the acolytes that spawn with that champion, and then what's, what's going to happen is, normally, you can, normally you can uh, take some of the curse thrall, but you, you can't actually do that this time, well, I couldn't do it this time because they, I couldn't see them. I'm not even sure they were up at that time. So, take out this Acolyte. You'll get this Void Charge. We're going to jump up on top and do exactly what we've been saying. I, as I've said, I would probably grenade the enemies. If I was doing this again, I would grenade the enemies below me and take the champion while the grenade was taking out the enemies. So, there's your champion over there. He's kind of got his back turned. But this time... I, 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 because of what happened the last time I, I put the grenade on him. Shouldn't have done that. And, for some reason, that happened. That, my super hit the top of that spike. I, I thought it would actually, I did actually think it would go through it. But it didn't. So, I've got a ton of heavy, so I wasn't really too bothered about burning heavy. That's the champion dead. Uh, a little bit, I, I, I was a little bit, uh, Careless by just running over there when I knew the ads were throwing solar bombs up. So I'll put, put my rift down. I'll take out these ads. I'm having a look for any curse thrall. Just if, if you'll see it more at the boss. If ads are hiding from you and you've got an idea, or you think you've got an idea where they are, if you shoot close to where you think they are, sometimes it activates them, causes them to come out and see what's going on. Nothing, nothing moved. I uh, couldn't see anything, so I'm just going to take the void, the void, uh, the void charge down there, and then I'm going to just throw a grenade on top of them, and that will be this area done. Uh, then we'll move on to the bridge section where there's an unstoppable and a barrier at the top, and then I think the next real kind of uh, section that I class as being a section is the next open area with with the three plates. This next section, the bridge section, is literally just adjoining this section to the next big section. So, slam this. I'm just going to look for heavy. And then we're going to do the bridge section next. Before you actually go to the bridge section, you just want to have a scoot about. Make sure that you've got as much heavy as you can carry and you're set to go. And then what you're going to do with the bridge section... Uh, is you're going to run up about 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 10% up. You'll see it. The, the, the pattern on the floor changes, and that activates the next wave of ads. Make sure once you've activated them, you come straight back down. Don't go into any of the sides, into the cover. Just come straight back down, because there'll be an unstoppable ogre at the top. Uh, and if you get too close, you'll aggra aggravate them. So you see here, just up on top of here, turn and go straight back down. Uh, I throw a grenade to take care of as many of the... the the thrall as possible because they'll all just come charging down. There are two arc shielded knights and you can see there as soon as I break one of the shields I just fire a rocket because I'm not too bored about heavy because I will get an absolute ton of heavy. Plus we've got an unstoppable uh, which very 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 easy to uh, to finish so we'll just stop him, get a rocket on him. You can see that my, my grenade took some of the acolytes that were with him. So, I'm just going to stay here, and I'm just going to wait a couple of seconds between stopping them. And I'll fire a couple of shots with the bow, because it's, it's, it's arc. So, you can see there, uh, you've got to be very careful uh, when going up here. But I, you've got to move up a little bit, just to, just to get them to, to aggro you. Make sure you've got your hand cannon out, so you've got your unstoppable uh, shot procced. And then... As soon as he comes into view, as soon as he's close enough that you can finish him without being attacked by any of the acolytes, then finish him, get your heavy, and now we're just going to pick off some of these, as many of these acolytes as we can get away with picking off from down here. Most of them are just, as you can see, they'll just jump up. And we can push up. I just want to make sure, I'm, I'm not too bald about uh, the ads being up there, but some of them hide in, in between, in, behind these these little bits of cover. I just wanted to make sure there was none there, so I'm just going to proc my grenade, throw it on top of as many of them as I can. You always have to take into consideration when you do that, that there will be, as you can see, that there will be a couple just uh, 
just hanging around that won't get touched by the grenade. And then when you jump down to activate the second section of the bridge, jump down, jump straight back up, and I'm just going to take the two wizards immediately. I've got a brick of heavy up here, so I'm full heavy. Now it's a shooting gallery. I'm just going to, you know, part of this, because I'm not doing, this isn't a speed run. I'm not trying to do this quickly. I'm trying to do this efficiently. But this part is just pure fun. Just picking them off from range with the bow. It's just, it's a bit of fun for me. So, once we take out as many of these as we can, we're going to tentatively make our way up. Because at the top, we're going to get a barrier champion. And we're going to get a shrieker. Plus, we're going to get some more acolytes. So, it's not really the barrier I'm worried about. It's the shrieker I'm worried about. Because... I've had issues with this Shrieker activating before I thought that it would. So, you get a couple of Acolytes there. Once you throw the grenade, and you'll see it pop up if it gets a kill. There, we get 15 seconds of Devour. So now what I'm going to do is just take out some of these ads. The Devour really helps, obviously. Now I'm going to try and take the barrier. Whether I will be able to take him or not from here, I'm just going to... Break his shield as quickly as I can. I know I've got heavy. So we'll put two rockets in. Get the rockets reloaded. Which I didn't actually manage to do. Uh, I'll just reload. And then I'll put at least one into him. And there we go. That's, that's all I needed. So now it's just about picking off any of the acolytes. Uh, that we can. If I can even hit one. There, there we go, Master. <laughs> Just as I said that, I, I missed like three shots. Four. Uh, pick, pick these off. Because that at the bottom of the stairs, you'll just see right in front of us, right in the middle, there's this pillar. This is what I use to kind of activate the, the, the Shrieker. But obviously, because, you, because Chaff is a, a, a Nightfall modifier, uh, a, a Grandmaster modifier, see... I didn't know there was another ad there. I, I would, and, and you wait and see how many ads end up coming round. Every time I want to go and attack, an ad comes. There we go. That's the Shrieker down. I, I do not mind about heavy ammo because the one thing that never happened to me, not once, is that, that I, I feel like the run was over because I never had heavy. You know, you do need to make sure you've got enough heavy to complete this, but it, I never felt like that, I, you know, heavy was at a premium. So what will happen when, at the top of these stairs, you'll take one of those acolytes out and the other one will teleport, not jump, teleport every time up here. And then you've got three acolytes, well, you've got two now, but you had three acolytes and a wizard. So a rocket on, on the wizard... Then we'll come back down here. I just again, like I like I say, you do need it. You do need a whole bunch of heavy, but you want to make sure that you know you're giving yourself the best chance, so you're not having to go up to the next area if you can, if at all possible. You're not going into the next area needing to get heavy from the next area. You want to be attacking the next area with full heavy. Now this next area is kind of the gateway to our next big area. So, you've got a champion here and some acolytes. So, I'm just going to throw a grenade on top of the champion. Now, I shouldn't have done that. You'll see here, I get in a little bit of trouble. Because now, ads start attacking me from the right. Normally, I just take these ads on the right and I take the champion all the way down at the bottom. Now, the grenade, if, the, if, if your grenade gets a kill, which I didn't, then I would have had Devour, which would have meant everything was a little bit easier so all the ads have gone uh it's just the champions over the other side we can take out this guy here uh then all the acolytes are gone it's just us and the champion so i'm just gonna try and at least put something on him grenade i even looking at that a grenade was never gonna hit so we'll break his shield and then we're going to try and finish him if we can. So we'll just put a couple of rockets on him. Make sure I've reloaded this time. 
And what's probably going to have to happen, because he's too far away, he, I can see he's finishable, but I'm just going to go down and I'm going to get him to put his shield up so I'm closer again. If you get a shot on, on him, as soon as he puts his shield up, you, it'll just be once he's, once he's ready to shoot, you'll just need to put one, one, uh, one crit shot into him to break his shield. Again, tried to finish him in a direction where the heavy wouldn't drop off the side. This is probably the area a lot of people are thinking is going to be tricky. It actually isn't. It actually isn't that tricky. When you get on that first plate, you're going to have a wizard. And you're going to have, I think, I think it's like four acolytes each side. Make sure... You be very careful with taking them out because remember, the acolytes do void damage, and they've got solar bomb, solar grenades that they throw. We are not set up to take any void damage, so void will seem like it does more more to us because we're not resistant against it. So once you've took out the four acolytes, what's going to happen next? You're going to get on this middle plate, you're going to capture it, and then we're going to get a barrier. Up these stairs just to the back. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put a grenade as soon as the flash comes to let me know. As soon as I know that the little audio, see? Little flash. I'm going to put a grenade. I'm not expressly interested in taking the champion. You'll see the acolytes that were taken. That's who I'm interested in taking. Was the acolytes. Because they're sniper acolytes. And they hurt. Now, the reason I didn't, I threw the grenade and then just jumped up. I, I, I wouldn't suggest you jump up, but I went up. I'm tentative about attacking this champion because there is an absolute ton of thrall that are hiding. So I've just managed to get that grenade, that rocket. The rocket took the champion. These... These are the main reason why I never attacked that champion because there's an absolute ton of these and they just kind of hide until you... I've noticed they're really sneaky. They hide until you start doing damage and then they want to come out. I'm not even sure that's all of them. I think... I think even with all the movement I do around this map, there is still one hiding. But I'm... I'm... Uh, again, as, I, as I've said, I'm tentative about attacking anywhere until I find this last throw. I know there's one more, but I'm going to do it anyway. So, I, again, this is what we'll be doing on both sides because that is what happens. When you go get next to... When you get next to the... I'll just put that last rocket on. I don't really want to burn another rocket for that, but the acolytes have come in and I don't, I don't want to mess about. I don't want to play with them too much. Got another brick of heavy. It's nice. So what's going to happen is now, so the first plate, you've got, there's a wizard when you first get up there, and then you'll get the knight once you've captured it. What's going to happen now, we'll put that down there, is when you get on this plate, after a couple of seconds, you're then going to get a champion. And you'll get an, two acolytes each side. What we're going to do with this champion is we're going to attack him from the bottom of these stairs. We're using the stairs as a head glitch, almost. But what happens here, you'll see, is... He puts his shield up in cover. So this time, we're just going to hit a rocket. Getting back to that state. Now, this was the... I've been to this part a couple of times. I'm just wanting rid of him because this one... This is the first time he actually done that where he was like... It, it just seemed like I was in a bad rhythm of... He would constantly shield himself when he was in cover. The other side, it works exactly the same, but the other side I actually wasn't like that. I managed to finish the other side. I'm still thinking like there's a thrall up. So, once we get over to the other side, we'll do the exact same. I'm just looking for heavy. We'll throw the grenade and let the grenade work on them for a little bit. And then rock it. Take that, take him out. I'm gonna have to rock at the wizard because she's ran away. Take out this last acolyte. 
and then take the wizard out. I was trying to conserve heavy because as you can see, even though I've got no heavy, I've already said this and, and it might seem like I've, I've, you know, I've, I've said it too early, I'm still not bothered about heavy, the heavy situation, because I still feel like I'm going to get heavy. I don't feel like I'm in any real... I've got my super, I've got my grenade, I can break the shield, we're all good. So what I'm going to do this time, I'm just going to throw my grenade there, and I'm going to take these two acolytes out over here. I'm just going to pick up these elemental wells, just to try and get my grenade back, which we've just about got. I'll kill this acolyte over here, and then we're going to go after the champion, because... I know if I finish the champion, I'm going to get heavy. So what we're going to do is just let him go back. I want him to go back. And we'll just throw the grenade. You see how the grenade stopped him? Now, I've noticed something about supp suppressing enemies. We'll, we'll just break his shield. If I need to, I can throw my super. Breaking enemy sh uh, Putting suppression... Suppressing effects on ads. I've noticed that when you do it, it seems to compromise your damage. Because it actually took me three or four shots that w when, when that champion was suppressed. It took me three or four shots to break his shield. I was saying to somebody... Uh, I was talking about uh, testing suppressive darkness. I actually, in the tests that I was doing, I was doing less damage once they were suppressed, even with suppressive darkness on. I don't know if the, I don't know if I had something else on my character that was maybe conflicting with the damage I should have been doing. But it's still, I'm, I'm still talking about it because I still can't believe that this season's alleged big damage boosting uh, mod, actually, from the tests I've done, does less. And it's really hard to apply, which is why nobody's using really suppressive darkness. I'm just going back up to see if maybe there's a brick somewhere. There isn't. I thought I thought I might two bricks might have dropped. I was just I was just testing to see if there was another brick there. There isn't. And I, I actually thought there was another thrall up. Uh and there obviously isn't. So this is now what why no one basically these are one of these adjoining areas that take you to the next big section, which is all linked in one, uh, the lift and and then obviously the boss. Now, like I've said, I said at the very start that I didn't think acute burn was such a big worrying factor in the GM. What it does do is it just slows everything down a little bit. So this is about an hour run. It should have been less because of, and as I've already said, You'll see at the boss what happened. I, for a minute, I thought the run was over. I did think the run was over, but we, you know, managed to managed to pick it up and save it. Uh, but even then, I mean, for a grandmaster, this is a long strike, though. Forget about you know acute burns or any of that stuff. This is a long strike. It always has been. I feel like there came a point, maybe. At, maybe after Forsaken, where the strikes they were bringing in were, like, ridiculously long. So, another thing about champions, I don't think I've mentioned this so far. I'll just put one on him, because we do want to finish this, this champion, if at all possible. One thing I've noticed about champions is, like most of the ads, am I going to be able to get the finish? Yeah, we'll, we'll just go for it. And he was too far away, so all that damage. I remember, I remember now, I remember being super annoyed at that. Because <laughs> I've only got two rockets. I know I'll get a rocket, at least one of them. So, whatever you throw your grenade with a champion, they will run to avoid that grenade. So, wherever you think that the you don't want them to be in a certain place, uh, that... That is where you should throw your grenade so that they, they back away from anywhere they can do any kind of real cover. So no, I, I actually I actually have to finish him. So he's running away. We just need to make sure we don't let him res too much. 
there we go. We've got the finisher. And we've got two bricks of heavy, so we're back up to six. That was a common theme. You can see me shaking my, my screen about because I was really annoyed at that. Uh, I never worried about heavy during this run, even when I was low, because the game... It's even more heavy. The game seems to make sure that you're going to get heavy. Now, this next section go coming up, up, going up to the left. The, the real issue here is going to be that not so much that there's two champions here. That's why I'm staying low, because the real issue is... Uh, I, I said earlier on in the video... This was the first time I actually got to the lift. It's because the time before I got here, two of these uh, snipers hit me at the same time and killed me. And it made me realise I hadn't worried about Acolytes really up to this point. But because there's so many snipers, you really do have to... You see me backing away. Because it was the run before this I got to this point. And it was the snipers, not where the champion is, over the other side that killed me. So as you can see, I'm, I'm being very pedestrian in my attacking. I'm trying to make sure that there's, there's no way those snipers can get that amount of time to see me. So I'm just going to go around here, which actually I ended up getting hit quite a bit over here. The champion was Kobe and his shots really nicely over that first wall. So I'm going to put my rift down. I've put, put a grenade on, which... I don't know. I think I think it eventually hit the champion. So now, because I've got an absolute bundle of heavy, we're just going to put a couple of heavy on the boss, and that's the bot. That's the champion down. I keep sometimes in my videos I say boss. I hope you guys know I mean the champions. Uh, so I'm not going to pick up another brick because I don't know how many I'm going to use. I've got two bricks behind me, so I know that I can get to the left with full heavy, and we've still got. Uh, Another two champions. There's a real disparity in this uh, GM between barriers and unstoppables. I think there's like four unstoppables. And two of them are at the boss. But there's like, geez, I, I, don't, I don't actually know. 18, 15, 17 barrier champions. I mean, so far, just in this little area... We took one on the way up here. We've just took another one. There's that one running up the stairs. And then there's one at the top. So there's four barriers in this area. How many were in the last area? I don't actually know. There's got to be close to 15 barriers, right? So I've come in here because, again, Shrieker activated well before I thought he would. So we'll just walk up here. See, he's, he's not activated yet. I'm just going to put two of those on him and then run and get into cover. Shriek us down. Now I'm going to go back and pick this heavy up because I don't want to be taking this champion out and then have to run all the way back here for heavy. Plus, it's probably heavy over the other side, but I don't want to take the chance. Oh, so we, everything's down over here. I'm just going to check, make sure there's no... There is an acolyte up there. But he's standing right with the champion. Probably going to finish this champion if I, if I if 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 I get the chance. So that's the acolyte down. There's the champion being affected now, smashing me. And he's broke, so now I can put a couple of rockets on. And then we'll break his shield. And I'm not going to bother finishing them because I had a brick of heavy right in front of me. Another thing you have to, and you, you might have noticed that there, another thing you really have to be careful about is if you fire your Galahorn in any sort of proximity to any ads, and it kills the ads, but there's still wolf pack going about, the wolf pack don't care about you. <laughs> they don't care about you, they don't care about me. They just want to kill something, and they will attack you. If you get hit by a wolf pack, it's it's nippy. So just be careful about firing them uh, with any sort of proximity. So I've came up here because I've taken out most of the other ads. I know the champion's still alive. So I'm just going to put the grenade on him. He will jump, try and move out the way. And now we'll just... I know, I think I've got a brick of heavy still lying about. So I can burn some uh, 
some heavy on the night. I can finish them. No, I'll, I really want to. If you if you at all can, I de actually worked out perfectly because I didn't need to finish the ad. I never needed to finish the champion. I killed him and he died on the lift so that heavy will come up with me. So, what we're going to do here as you guys might have seen it in, in some videos and whatever. Uh, we're going to back ourselves in and we're, we're just going to make sure we're at the side of this. And then I'm going to sit down. I'm going to use the sit down emote. I am, I am going to give the person the shout out that told me about this, which was Lee. Some of you that follow the channel or see me on streams, I know my, my mate Lee. He told me about this about eight or nine months ago. I'd never heard of it before. And he told me in conjunction to uh, Vault of Glass doing the callouts. He was like, hey, he watched me do the uh, LFG Vault of Glass. And he was like, you know, you can sit back in that wall and the ads, can, Atheon can't damage you and you can do the callouts just standing up there. So I, I'm going to give him a bit of credit for that. He's probably not going to take that credit because he's probably going to say he got it from somewhere else. But I just thought it was. I should give him a bit of credit for uh, for that uh, because I I do know that a few people have used it recently, but I heard about that months and months ago. So that can happen. What we just seen there can happen. I took out the ads on one side, and the ads from the other side attacked me. Now there's a champion both sides. So, I almost got one champion down. I have seen that happen before, where the ads come and attack you. It just hasn't happened to me in a while. Because normally, the ads don't come out into this. They can do, and I've, I've seen them do it before. So, what I'm going to try and do, I'm probably going to have to deal with a champion on this side. But it'd be nice to take this wizard out. There's the champion, there's acolytes up there. So, now I'm just... What I'm trying to do now is isolate the champion take some of these ads would be nice but I just want to isolate the champion from the wizard to give myself a chance now that should be enough break his shield I'll put a couple of rockets in I'll just put one and then a grenade and the grenade should like I say make it easier to deal with the champion and I'm just gonna I just want the kill I've got I've got a brick up here, which puts me back up to seven. And I've also got another champion that I can finish should I should I want to. So I've just seen an acolyte. There's a couple of acolytes up here. So I'll take them out. And then we've got the wizard, but we've also got another champion. So I'm going to put one rocket on the wizard. Which is sharing its damage with the champion, unfortunately. So now what I'm going to do, and it's what you, you can do this. Once you've cleared one side and you get the ads looking at you, you can actually just switch sides and it just gives you a second more to do damage. So I don't really, if I can get away with it, I don't really want to... Uh, I don't really want to use another rocket, but... I mean, you have to sometimes see the chat. They're, they're both focused on where they last see me. I'm just going to have to put a rocket on this wizard and just finish finish her off. And then what I can do is the same trick I've done in the plate room. I can, I can, if the, if, if the champion doesn't run out into the left area, which he's going to, I could use the stairs. So there he is. I can use the stairs, but I can, he's, he's, he really is running. Do you think he's a... Do so you think he's a Taken Vandal or something? Just running and hiding. <laughs> I have more issue with ads running and hiding than I do with a cute burn. <laughs> so we'll just take him down from here. I probably am going to go for the finisher. I can even break his shield. Because... I'm not... Again, I keep saying this and I mean it. I'm not bald... I'm not really too fussed about uh, heavy because I know I've got chances to get heavy. So we just want to get them finishable. 
and there we go that should be him finishable and then what i'm gonna do is get over there as quickly as possible do a little jump so because i know he's gonna i'm that far away i know that he can fire at me and here we go we'll just same thing again just have a look make sure there's no heavy and then what what i will do is same thing again i'm gonna sit back into the wall you, you know what happened to me i think in this part as well I sat back into the, the wall section and just with the movement of the lift and spinning round, it pulled me out of my emote. Uh, there we go, just sit back in the wall and there we go, lovely biscuits. As long as my head is in the wall, I'm, fr I'm clear. And now we're going up to the second floor which is the unstoppable and then you've got two wizards. Easier to deal with I think than the champions than the than the champions it is a champion easier to deal with i think than uh than the barriers now what happened there was just like what i said the movement of of the lift just took me out of my emote which is why i threw the grenade i just make sure i wasn't going to get hit too much so as you can see that emote thing is not infallible you it it, it does work but also, sometimes, it might not work. And because I threw my grenade, I now have to wait for my grenade before I can attack this next set of ads, which is where the unstoppable will be as well. So what, what we're going to have to do is, I'm, I'm going to want to finish this unstoppable because we want to get to the boss with full heavy and these two wizards are probably going to need some, some grenades. So full, some rockets, sorry. So I'll throw my grenade, make sure... I stop the ogre so the ogre takes some of the grenade damage and then I'm going to back away over here because we don't want to enrage the grenade, the, the overload so that he comes chasing us. We want to keep him at some range so I'm going to fire one rocket, just do some quick damage. Now you will have seen there, I'm not sure people appreciate it, when you're dealing damage with the the Galahorn and you kill something with Wolfpack. If you've got the if you've got the 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 catalyst, you get some beefier Wolfpack rounds. You've seen them one hit for five and a half thousand, the other hit for eleven and a half thousand. That's just a Wolfpack round. So what I'm doing now is I'm just trying to whittle the 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 unstoppable down. Because I don't want I've got four rockets I, the way I'm anticipating it at this point is I'm thinking to myself, if I have to, I might have to use a couple of rockets on these wizards. So I want to make sure I'm, I'm acting like I'm not going to get any more rockets. So there we go. He is finishable. So I'm going to wait till he moves behind that pillar on to his right. And then I'm going to move. And then just like what I did on the bridge, I'll pro I'm going to proc my unstoppable, get him to come to me. So I can finish him in cover because there's a heap of acolytes each side. And there we go. I've got four rockets. I'm not going to pick that up. Not just yet. And so this section, start attacking the acolytes you see first. Right or left. But do not go chasing them out. Because you have to consider that there's always going to be acolytes behind you. I get a little bit too comfortable here. And as you can see, luckily... I was out very quickly because I knew I knew that there were accolades the other side. So as soon as I felt the damage, I was off. But sometimes that's just going to happen and there's not much you can do about it because the accolades are moving in such a way that, as you can see, I, as you'll have seen, I looked out to see where the accolades were this side. Just now I'm being ultra careful, just checking each side. Uh, now what we're going to try and do with these wizards is we're going to try and put a rocket on and then charge a grenade which will weaken them. It will stop them moving as much as well. And now just keep hitting them with the... You see the grenade just eating away at them. Uh, and the bow is obviously doing 25% more. So that is... We're going to try and conserve rockets if we can. So we'll move over to the other side. Just having a look. I'm just going to pick this brick up. And sometimes that'll happen, you'll only get two from a brick. Sometimes you'll get three, and then on the very, very, very rare occasion that Bungie's feeling uh, really generous, 
it's only happened a couple of times that you'll get four. So this time I'd done it the opposite way about so that the rocket would do more initial damage. Uh, she's finishable, so I'll just go up and finish her. And as luck would have it, she drops a brick, which means that we go up to the boss room with full heavy. Now I'm going to emote into the wall again, as I, I've already said this. I said this at the start of this. Thank you very much, Lee, for letting me know about this about eight months ago. Uh, but I think this is the first time that it actually worked. That I didn't get pulled out of it. And like I say, as long as your head is in the wall, the ads, and you can see your legs, but they're not, they're not interested. And that's us up at the boss room. So, as soon as we get up here, there's going to be two wizards. We're going to throw a grenade right in the centre of them, and it's going to drag both the wizards together, and then kind of incapacitate them a bit. So one rocket's almost going to kill both of them. Uh, we'll finish them off with the bow. They do drop a brick, so we go up. To, we're going to go through the gate when, when Hashla Dun comes out, uh, and then get up on top, on top of the, the wall. We'll, you could say we're kind of out of bounds. You see, you'll throw a grenade in the cent center. Throw, fire a rocket. The grenade, wolf pack, all of that. There's my brick of heavy. We've got one, one of the wizards left. She's doing her best to Spanish dance away from us. Pick up the rocket, and now we go through here. There's a big mound of hive stuff. Not this mound on the other side. Up to the left, where we're going to jump now. Get up on top of the door frame, and then you're up on top. When you get on this door frame, you're going to be jumping to the... Not this side, that side. You're going to be jumping to the opposite side. Now, I've said a few times in this video, and I've alluded to, alluded to what happened. At one point, I'm going to jump up, because there's going to be some ads, and I'm going to flow off of here, down into one of the darkness areas. It takes me a couple of minutes, but I'll work out how to get back up. Uh, so this run probably would have been just over an hour, uh, which for this GM, although I've already said already that the acute burn isn't isn't a big problem, I don't think it is. It, it, it just meant you had to be a little bit more careful, and that's probably where the time came in. I think, but anywhere between fifty-five minutes, you know, just under an hour and just over an hour is acceptable for a solo on this GM. So I didn't feel like it was super slow. But it would have been a couple of minutes quicker had that not happened. So, when you get up here, obviously the boss is going to be unshielded. You see there, I put a grenade on her. Uh, and then I threw my super. What I'm going to do is I want to get her, I want to get as many of the ads out in one go as I can. Uh, I don't, I, you know, I don't want to be messing about. So, if I see ads that I can take at this point, I will take them. You've got to be careful with these acolytes because some of them avoid snipers. You see, there, there's a bit heavy on the floor for me. So, now what I'm going to do is just put a rocket or two on until she goes immune. When she's firing, or when you're taking big arc damage, just stay crouched. If you know it's an arc knight, do that. Just put a grenade on the arc knight kind of stops their ability to be able to comfortably hit you. And then once I break the shield, quick rocket. I don't mind burning some rockets on the on the knights, because as you can see now, we're in a much better position. Uh, throw one down on top of those acolytes just to, just to take care of those. And that's both of those acolytes gone. I almost got my grenade back. So... We know that when she goes immune now, I'm going to wait for it to stop firing. When she goes immune the next time, uh, the first time, sorry, which should be with this. Yep, we're going to get the two wizards coming out. Something you might not have seen or might not have realized I was doing. See that I'm just shooting that brick of heavy to get it. As I never bothered putting, putting my rift down until she stopped firing. And the reason for that is, if you put your rift down while she's still firing at you, uh, I maybe need to put another rocket. If you put your rift down while she's firing, you, the mechanic of putting using your rift, if you're crouched, it will make you stand up. 
just looking for now you'll see what happens here I, I nearly I thought about it but that that uh, that uh that sniper acolyte on the right had a bead on me no because I'll just shoot this brick and get this brick heavy no because my wolf pack chased it it's, it's ran off and there we go <laughs> came back out hit me and managed to get the kill be very careful for me the sniper acolytes are the worst because we're not set up to defend myself against void damage so what we're going to do is try and put a little bit of damage on on this knight and now I know that the wizard is somewhere around there because I was just getting hit by it there we go so what I'm going to do again is wait for it to stop firing rocket rocket and that's that's the two wizards gone Oh no, that didn't kill that wizard. Now she's got a shield up. I'm not bothered. I'll use another brick. I'll, I'll use, use another rocket. I've got three rockets left. I'll just throw a grenade here, here and just drag. The good thing about the grenade, if it lands anywhere close to the ad, it drags the ad out of cover. Now we can see that up, Knight. He thinks he's being real clever by Hayden. He's not being real clever. We can see him. I've I've said this a few times during this run. Heavy ammo was not something I ever worried about because I knew I was going to get it. Just the way that the, the game was 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 uh, was doing it, I knew I was going to get it. I knew I was going to get the heavy. Again, another thing you can do is there are four points like this. Just look, running over, jumping up to see if there's any other ads. You can jump from side to side. As long as you land back on this, you'll be fine. I'm just going up as, as much as I can just to see if I can see that knight. So now I'll do the same thing again. Throw a grenade. Jump up. Break the shield. And then... Just, I'm just going to keep jumping up until he moves into out of his cover. Now I can just kill him. And there's a brick of heavy. And there we go. So, while the while the boss is still shielded, right? As long as the boss is still shielded, there are still ads in the arena. Now, I think it's very close to here where I jump off accidentally. I don't jump off. I jumped and then I boosted to save my jump. But where I was moving to see an ad, I never landed flush on the stanchion. And I slid off the side. I, I can't remember where it was, where I'd done it from. I know there's still ads up. Now, having a hand cannon, I, I mentioned some to start with. I said I was using Time Lost. You could use Volpecular or a Service Revolver. It's for this reason. This was something that was pretty cool to have an explosive payload weapon. Because when the ads were hiding, I could still do damage. Now, I, I kind of got annoyed with waiting after a second. I couldn't, I couldn't get any shots. So I just throw a grenade over and just finish this ad. And uh, I think there's still ads up. And I think this is where I fall off. So, nice grenade, get the kill. Still adds up because she's still shielded. Looking to see if any of that was heavy. And I think I think I think there might still be uh, an arc shielded knight up. So I'm just looking about the map, just getting different angles. And this, is this where I slid off? No. Can't remember where I slid, when I slid off. It might be here. I realise there's an Arc Knight and I was focused on the Arc Knight. I landed there. Is this? No, it can't be. <laughs> I don't know when I slipped off. <laughs> 
So what I'm definitely going to do is take out this Alp Knight. And I'm just going to do the rocket. There we go. And that's... So I don't know if that was a trigger, because as you've seen, when I took out that last Alp Knight, this is where I fall off. I'm pretty sure this is where I fall off. Jumping up to, to get shots. Uh, I think there's one... That I, so I take out one of these throw, and then there's one left. And I have to move position to get them. Yeah, I have to move position to get them. Uh, I think when I took out the last, there he is. I think when I took out the last, you see there, I'm like, oh. That's what happened. I went too far forward, and the invisible wall pushed me back. That's what happened. So be very careful when you're moving from left to left to right. Don't land too close to the front, because there's an invisible barrier that will just push you back. Now, I thought the run was over. Because after about 30 seconds, I could not find any way to get back up. Because it's all flat walls. And you need... It's all straight walls. And you, know what, you need to get on top of this door frame that we're underneath now. To jump back up on top. And there was nothing... There was nothing to jump up onto. And even the fact that I just jumped through that wall. Like that. I didn't really notice that uh, the door frame, so the framework of that add door frame that we've just seen again there is solid. And it's only when I realize I can't run past it inside the wall, I can't run past it. That's when I realized it's solid. And I was like, hmm, can I land on top of that door wire, door, the, the, the wire work of the, the inside of the door frame? Can I land on it inside the wall and use that to jump up onto the door frame? That's exactly what I ended up doing. But I have to tell you, I've already said this already in the run. This was the first time I got to the lift. It was the first time I got to the boss. And I was a bit annoyed that the first time I got to the boss that I'm the run might be over. And as you'll see in a couple of seconds, it, it wasn't it wasn't the case because you can actually one of the walls isn't is, this wall isn't solid. So you can see here I can't I can't jump like I'm hitting the top of it. And after a while, I realised that must mean that it's solid. Can I jump on top of it? So I'm still doing this, and I was like, hmm, can't get above it. Maybe I need to back away. And you can back away inside the door and land on top of the door. The door frame inside the wall is solid. You can land up on here. And where you need to jump to, I'm trying to jump to the wrong place. You jump up to the same side you're on already. So when I land on the big door frame, I need to jump up up to the up up here, but to the right. And and that's how you get back up. And when I got back up, there was never a more relieved person. So I'm still trying to jump up to the wrong side. Tried to jump back down onto the door frame, couldn't. So we get this. I think I get back up here. So land up on inside that inside the wall on the door frame. On here, turn round, jump up onto the. I'm looking now to see where 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 I was attacking from to see where I should be trying to get to. And now I get it. So I land back down. I know where I've got to go now. So when you get up here, you jump up onto here. And that's us back up. Now I can take this last bloody thrall out. And that makes the boss... Uh, I'm just going to charge a grenade here and just be done with it. Get back over here. I think there might be... Was that... Was that all of them? If you draw, this is if ever you do, if ever you do need to get off, because you feel like you're gonna die. But you'll you'll see, apart from that one void sniper that hit me when I was jumping up, I don't get in any real trouble up here. Boss is now able to take damage. So 
The next time she goes immune, it's unstoppable champion time. So I think I might have covered this already, but just in case I haven't. If you're taking big heat, right? So it works more in the first section. I just make sure that there's no ads that can do big damage to us. If you're taking big heat here, I could just throw a grenade over and and put a bit on everything, her and the ads. If you're taking big heat and you're like, oh man, can't do any damage, the best thing to do is just do what I'm doing now, right? So back away, they'll be hitting the front, make sure the splash damage can't hit you. You can move down to the left a little bit, but just stop shooting and the ads will lose interest. I'm going to throw a grenade. It's hit that knight. Now the knight's accuracy is out the window. Right? And now I'm going to break his shield. And I'm not going to mess about. I can see I've got a brick there as well. Put a rocket on that knight. Put the well down. We need to find out who's shooting us. And then once she goes immune again, we get two unstoppable knights. So, if, if, if you're getting fired on like that, just make sure that you're not close to the edge. Because if you are, the splash damage will be the thing doing the damage to you. And then, rocket. As I say, I know I've got heavy down to the right. I've got two bricks. See if I can... There we go, I've got full heavy again. So, that should be very close to making her immune. This one should do it. Now we're going to get two unstoppables and, and a heap of curse throw. Now, you, you'll see it says that a champion has appeared. Actually, two have. So, we're just going to try and find this first unstoppable. There he is. So, stop him, and then I'm just going to put the grenade on him. Put my breath down. Again, I've already said this, but I'll reiterate it. Don't, don't put your breath down when you're getting fired at, because if you do, you're coming out of cover to do that. Especially if you're crouched. Put another rocket very close to being dead now we do know there's two unstoppables the second one doesn't go down quite as easy as the first one and as I I said this already as well I am using the time loss fate bringer because it's got explosive payload but that's why I named the Volpecula in the service revolver you'll have seen uh, at different times you'll have seen me use explosive damage to do damage to ads. That's why I named those other two hand cannons because you don't expressly need. Just put a couple of rockets on. You don't expressly need the the fate bringer. I mean, you could use the legendary fate bringer. You don't, it, you know. But if you've never beat the raid, you'll have a Volpecula. There's a good chance you're going to have the service revolver, so you can still take advantage of the explosive payload, which is really why I'm using this. I, I just, just missed him. Get the stop on him now. That should have killed him. But unfortunately for me, the boss decided to, to save the champion's skin. And again, I've stopped the unstoppable. I'm just going to put some, some hits on. Now, I think I enter a little bit of a, a part here where, uh, where the unstoppable kind of does, like, rotations of the map and I can't really get a lot of damage on I'm not bothered I'm in a very 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 strong position uh, I'm pretty sure I've got heavy on the floor so as soon as I get the chance to be able to to be able to get that heavy uh, I can wait until the unstoppable moves round to further away on the map which gives my grenade a chance to to to, to come back can see ads there's the unstoppable 
I've just about got my grenade, so I'm just going to drop the grenade on and try and get a stop on him. If I can't, I can't. Gets a cursed throw. Nearly got my grenade back again. And I think what happens is, I think this happens, I actually throw the grenade on, on, on the, the ogre and it kills the ogre, even though I haven't stopped him. I think that's what happens. Again, being up here is patience. That's really all it is. Once you get here, it's not attacking. When you're getting hit like that, it would be foolhardy for me to think I could just get a stop on him. And as you can see, I waited for that break in getting shot. Because the ogre won't consistently keep shooting. Now, we'll stop him and then we'll just toss a grenade over onto him. Put a couple of hits on him. And I think the grenade takes care of the rest of him. Boom. Now it's just, there's st still a couple of ads up. It's just us and those ads. I'm going to look, see if there's any heavy line about for me. There is in the center there. Uh, I can't see any ads apart from that one acolyte at the back, which <laughs> threw one of the worst grenades I've thrown all, all, all run. Yeah, so it, it would have been foolhardy for me to, to think I could step up and stop uh, an unstoppable while the unstoppable is melting. So if you, if you need to do any damage, if you need to do a stop or whatever... You see there I got it, so I've got six rockets now. There's an ad over there. I'm just picking off any ads I can see. There's one in the center. So you just wait for them to stop being so interested in you, because they will. You know, don't... Listen, when you watch stuff like these videos, you watch other people's videos where they're just like running around like, you know, and I, I know it because I've, I've, I've heard people say it. And there's been a couple of times I've said it myself where it's like, man, the, such and such just runs around there and takes no damage. It's not that we're not taking damage. It's not that our runs are any different to yours. What it is, is quite simply, we, we're not attacking when you shouldn't. And we're attacking when you should from where you should. I've heard people talking about the acute burns this time on the GM being a reason why they're not going to run GMs. It's, it seems kind of petulant to me a little bit, but it is what it is. Hopefully. Uh, I think I think what happens here is I take out some of these curse throw and then three of them appear at the boss. Uh, yeah, I, I, I found... There we go. So what I'm going to do is put this grenade on and then I'm going to go back to the centre where I'm going to do my damage from. The grenade will kill the curse throw, and then Hashla Doon goes to the grenade. What we're going to do is throw an over. I'm not, I don't care about any of the other adds. All I care about is putting damage on the boss. And as you can see, adhering to the rules, she's melting. So I don't attack when she's melting, when she's firing. So yeah, I, th I, 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 I think just knowing when to do stuff is more important than 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 you know that's that that is really the strategy it's just knowing when it's time to attack when not to attack playing the encounter you know so i'm not caring about any of the other ads i'm just wanting to get these last shots on the boss and that is the run that is the solo grandmaster and there we go guys ton of rewards you'll see I got the, the triumph there, and I got the triumph for completing a Grandmaster, because any any Grandmasters that I put up on the channel will be solo, I'll have worked them out solo, and I'm, I'm not, I'm not a team player when I'm, you know, I'm a team player, then I'm, then I'm a solo player, I'm not, I'm a solo player, so all this stuff has worked out on my own, uh, thanks a lot for watching guys, I hope you enjoyed the run. Uh, I hope you learned something about it and good luck with your runs. Take it easy guys and I'll see you in the next video.